You asked me if I have a missing picture, but I haven't. I don't think I do, but I have my childhood. That time, those memories, I don't think I could possibly film it. It was a movie I watched when I was a kid. Life in Malaysia in the 60s was very slow and easy. My childhood was very happy and joyful. I lived there with my grandparents, and I still dream of them and the theater we went to together. I slept with my grandfather on a big bed, and my grandmother slept on the bottom of a bunk bed nearby. She had the habit of reading novels by candlelight. Grandpa used to caress my hands, gently coaxing me to sleep. Sometimes, he himself would fall asleep, grasping my hands. When I woke up the next day, Grandpa was already at the factory making noodles. Grandma was sleeping very deeply. I could sneak under her bed quietly reach under her pillow and steal the key to her closet. Then I'd climb out, open the drawer and take two coins. I do the same thing almost every day. Out in the front yard of the seven-story building, there was a coconut tree rooted on a little hill. And there was a pastry cart always parked there with all kinds of cakes, peanut cake, nine layer cake, coconut cake. It was incredible. Peanut cake was my favorite with its thin glutinous rice skin covered with sweet peanut flour. When Grandpa finished preparing noodles and roasting pork, he would come home and rest until the afternoon. Then he would take me to a nearby tea house. He would drink black coffee, and I would drink Ovaltine. To save me from burning my mouth, Grandpa would pour the Ovaltine on a saucer for me to drink. My grandparents were open for business every day, but both these old people loved movies. They especially liked going to a theater called The Odeon, which played Hong Kong and Cantonese movies. I would go with my grandma to the first screening at 7 p.m., and after the movie, she would take me back to the food stall and take charge of selling the noodles. Then my grandfather would take me back to the Odeon and we would walk the same way for the nine o'clock show.
后来，我上小学。Later, I went to elementary school, still watching two movies every night. I didn't have time to do my homework at all. All I could do was cry. So everything was written by my grandparents. My father was very upset. One day he came back and took me away from them. After that, I slept on a big bed with three of my unfamiliar brothers. I posted a picture of my grandpa behind the mosquito net. Every night, I would always think about our previous life. We watched movies together, walked together, drank afternoon tea together, slept together. I don't know why I missed my grandfather so much. Sometimes, I fantasize that my grandfather would become a hero and take me to a mountain where there would only be the two of us. I drew the mountain next to his picture on the wall, imagining that we would live there together, never separated. Looking back now, I feel that time was very terrifying. My thoughts and my imagination were full of various pictures and details regarding my grandfather. Sometimes I cried. It seems to me now that this whole period was a kind of training for my future career as a director. Maybe that's why I made films and wrote scripts. My movies pursue a sense of reality, my current feelings about life. I didn't film these stories of my childhood because I don't think I could recreate them accurately. The world is changing too fast. All the theaters I grew up with have now been torn down. Only the husk of one is left. The whole style and feel of modern life is so different. These memories, I just let them stay in my dreams. <laughs> 